Hello and welcome to Tech. I'm Ahmad Adnan, and in this video, we are going to discuss about direct query column missing. This looks strange, right? Actually, I've seen a post in the Power BI group that someone has posted that how can I get a newly added column in the direct query of Power BI in Power BI service? So I thought to make a video about it because it might be helpful for everyone of us. So let's get started. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is the Power BI file and this is connected to a direct query. If you can see it here, it is connected to a direct query. Now I published this report into my Power BI service and this looks like this. It has all the values here and these are the columns here. Now I'm going to add a new column into my data source. As you can see on the top, I have this SQL server and on the back end of it, it is a Power BI desktop. So this is the main table, dim product category. And I'm going to add a new column, alter table, dim product category, add sync datetime, datetime null. New column added and I want to update the get date in type. And then refresh the table. As you can see, I have this last column as sync date time now. As you can see it in Power BI Desktop, there is no column search. So let's refresh this in Power BI Desktop. Yeah, as you can see, a new column has been added here. Now I'm not going to publish this for now. Let's go to this Power BI service and then refresh the report. This is a Power BI file and I'm going to refresh it here. It is refreshing. It is not updated. Now let's refresh the data set. Even though this is the direct query, let's refresh the data set to make sure whether it is works or not. This is a testing workspace and this is the data source. I mean, this is the data set. I'm going to refresh this now. Refresh now. Look at the timings here. Yeah, the timing has changed here. Now let's go back to this one and refresh again. It is refreshing. Yeah, even though now I refresh the data set as well as the report, but the new column is not yet added here. In order to work now, let's go to this Power BI desktop and then because the Power BI desktop file has this column here, let's publish this into Power BI service. After selecting the workspace and clicking on select, it is giving me a prompt that replace this data set. You already have a data set named direct query prod category in Power BI. Replacing this data set may impact this report. View this impact of this change on the content of Power BI service. Here there is a notification. Replacing the data set may change the sensitivity label of the data set and report you are currently editing. So I'm not worrying about this now. So replace this. So now it is done. Let's go to the Power BI service. And here um, the report is already open. So I'm just refreshing the report. It is refreshing. Yeah, as you can see, the new column sync date time has been added here. So by just refreshing the data in direct query, it is just refreshing the data, but it is not bringing up the columns as well. Now let's try this way. I'm going to delete the column which I have created now in the data source. On the table, drop the column. It is done. If you can see this, there is no such column here. I'm going in Power BI Desktop now. So refresh this report. As you can see, we have this column here. So the column is removed from here. Now let's go to Power BI Service and see after refreshing the report without publishing the report or without refreshing the data set. I'm just refreshing the report. As you can see, we have this column here. 
Now the report breaks up here. It is saying a message a query failed due to an invalid table, column, or object name. As you can click on show details, data source schema changed. The schema of the data source has changed. The current query operation failed due to an invalid table or column or object name. Please update the data set to remove the invalid reference or contact a database administrator to troubleshoot this issue. So now by adding a new column, it doesn't make an impact here for this report because it is going to fetch the data what are the columns available in Power BI service to the data source. Whereas after deleting the column, as it is already there in Bobby service, it is trying to fetch those information from the deleted columns as well. As it is not available, as it is not available in the data source, so it is throwing an error here. Now it is saying we need to publish, republish the report, or we have to add the column in the data source. So as we deleted this one, so we need to republish this report again. So click close and go to Power BI Desktop and publish this report once more time. It is asking for the replace here. Yeah, replace. Yeah, now got it. Now let's go to Power BI Service and then refresh again. As you can see, the report loaded here and the column is disappeared from here. What we understand in this case is whenever you add a column or delete a column in the data source. It is good to refresh it in Power BI Desktop and then publish it again to Power BI Service in order to avoid any kind of error or misleading information. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. If you are not a member of the Tyke, please hit the join button to become a member of Tyke. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Share it with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.